hello and welcome to another beauty box unboxing today i've got a limited edition it's from okay and it's their christmas box so this costs 60 pounds um its value is 360 pounds comes in a nice sort of box from the subscription one doesn't it opens up the same way with the same sort of that bit covering with a little message on so it's a bit nicer it's a, more of a gift type box i would say especially if you were buying it for someone else so at the moment at the time of filming it is still available and if you want it you can get it from okbeautybox.co.uk obviously with black friday coming up there may be offers and it might go i don't know what's going to happen there so with this you do get four vouchers for the okay magazine so with the subscription boxes you tend to get two and the limited editions you tend to get four this is worth 14 pounds 40 and i think it's probably included in the overall value of the box i didn't add it all up which i normally do but i forgot about that um there's also a leaflet with information on all the products and to be fair today i've taken most of the information from okay just to make it a little bit quicker in terms of research so let's get on and see what's in the box the first item is by ren one of my favorite brands um it's ren clean scare 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 clean skin care overnight recovery balm this is 30 mils in an rp of 46 pounds so okay says christmas can be a stressful time and for your skin too if you notice flare-ups of dryness, redness, or irritation over the winter months, this rich barrier repairing balm is what you need. Packed with a blend, that's snowy, sorry, of <laughs> skin soothing oils, it melts into the skin to give relief after just 15 minutes. With the complexion looking noticeably soothed and nourished after eight hours, I'm being put off here by the background noises. The lightweight yet rich and non-greasy formula is formulated for sensitive, very dry or stressed skin and also suitable for eczema prone skin. It's enriched with enzymatically activated oils that help minimise water loss and reduce sensitivity during its overnight regenerative process. So with this, you warm a small amount in the palm of your hands and gently massage into your face and neck until absorbed. Use, you can use every day at night time or you can use any time in the day on very dry or chapped areas that need extra attention so i have got this one already i'll show you, show you this nice sort of new one so i like the box as well even the way the box is designed is kind of nice and this is what it looks like when it's lovely and new so i have got one that i'm going to show you rather than open that one and i use this only when i need to so when i do get dry i do suffer from dry skin this is my version as you'll see quite a lot gone from it i use it when i get dry skin or irritated redness and things like that um for me i'm not overly keen on wearing balms and oils on my face overnight so i'll only do it when i really need to um, I'll show you what it looks like. It feels almost like a sort of a, a slightly lightweight Vaseline. But this is what it looks like. I'll do it on my arm. So it does give you that feeling. You can feel it on your face, although it's quite a lightweight one, to be fair. And it, look at it just sort of soaking in. It's gone all lovely and mm, lush. I haven't used it for a while, actually. I forgot how much I liked it. There is a kind of, a, there's a smell to it, it's almost night timey, sort of herbally, um, calming, pleasant smell. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I've had one before when this had a little bit more in it. I had another one and gave it to um, a family member who thought it was really good. So I don't know whether I'm going to give the new one to her or keep it as a reserve for me. I'll see whether she wants it or not first, I think. But um I do like giving things to people when I know they really like it. Okay, the next item is Epidermal Research Centre Marine Collagen 8 Hour, I should be showing it you really, uh, Advanced Repair Masks. So this is 50 mils and worth £95. Okay says this is a real treat for skincare fans and this product alone is worth the, more than the price of the whole box. 
a deeply nourishing night mask. This contains hydrolyzed collagen, antioxidant grape extract and kale and clay to completely revitalize skin while you sleep. It's like an overnight facial in a tub. The hydrolyzed collagen will improve elasticity and provide long lasting hydration. Aloe vera soothes, regenerates and hydrates the skin to increase skin moisture retention levels. This mask smooths, deep cleanses and removes excess surface oils whilst you sleep. To use, you just swap your usual night cream for this supercharged treatment whenever your skin needs an extra boost. Apply a thin layer to the face, neck and decolletage as the final step in your nighttime skincare routine. So I used this last night. Now I do like packaging on this one. The jar looks really lovely, that beautiful sort of green colour with the gold. I think that looks really nice. Um, and and I do like when it when it's an expensive product, I think you should have decent packaging, in my opinion. Um, this is what it looks like. So it's a creamy type thing, but it's quite, I don't know if you can see, but it's quite thick and luxy feeling like a night cream for me i like a night cream to feel all lush and luxurious and thick so i used this last night and i have to say i quite liked it it does feel lovely going on there's a smell to it that reminds me of another product it's another product i'm sure that is a marine collagen product but it's got a definite it reminds me of something else so if anyone gets this and knows what it smells like please let me know but that definitely i've smelt that smell before but it's quite nice it's a nice sort of it does feel like a marine oceany type smell fresh lovely so i used that last night i yeah i liked it i have to say now because it's a mask it says um use it when your skin needs it so I'm not sure how often to use it. With masks, I tend to use them twice a week if I'm going to use them. So I'm not sure. It's very similar to this product. That's the only thing. They're both sort of saying use it when you need it, which is the only maybe gripe I've got really there. Um, but yeah, nice product. Next one is by Avant. So obviously we're going to get another high priced product here. It's the Pink Orchid Subtle Restoring Overnight Serum. So this is 30 mils. It's full size worth £89. And that is the RRP. I did check that on, on Avant's website because I know that a lot of their products are discounted at the moment. And it is currently on offer for £60, £2.30. And as they seem to be doing a lot, that you can either get it in this sort of tube, which it just doesn't excite me, um, which is called a travel pack. Or you can get a much nicer one, which is called the original pack. And it's the same price. So I wish that in the boxes we could get the ones that have the nicer packaging. I just, I don't know. It's just a little tiny gripe of mine. So OK Say is designed to support the skin's renewal process and boost its moisture levels while you sleep. This Lux Serum will banish patches of dry skin by the morning, while Pink Orchid Extract helps to increase the skin's elasticity. It replenishes the skin's essential moisture reserves to lessen dry patches that can make skin look dull. Pink Orchid works to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Hyaluronic Acid penetrates penetrates deep into the skin to nourish and revitalize, leaving the skin softer, smoother and more radiant. And in the evening, after cleansing and doing your other routines, um, like toning, exfoliating, massage a pea-sized amount into the skin. So I used this as well last night together with this one. So I used this as a serum before using the cream and it did do a nice job. I actually really like this. So let's pop a bit on my hand. There you go. And it's you can tell it's got the hyaluronic acid in, you know, it just goes on forever. But I like that. So there's not much of a smell to this one. I thought there was last night, but I can't smell anything now. So yeah, sure there was, you know. I think my nose is playing up. Anyway. I liked it because it was a lovely sort of, it reminded me of like a hyaluronic acid product serum that I would use definitely at night time. So that was a great one for me. 
Okay, the next, uh, my skin, by the way, was really good in the morning. I have to say, I'm doing all right with my skin at the moment. Um, so, yeah, happy with using those products together. Okay, the next item is by Bloom and Blossom. Where is it? Is that it there? So I've got a few things. There. So I've put a few things in these little bags um, to, I suppose, separate them out. This one is... The Press Pores Self Care Spray. So basically, kind of pillow linen spray. It's 100 ml, it's a full size, and it's worth £24. OK says we've put some treats for your mind as well as your body inside this box to give yourself mini moments of me time over Christmas and beyond. This pillow and fabric mist has a soothing scent to create a calming environment around you. It's got a unique blend of jasmine, ylang ylang, and Sicilian lavender. 98% naturally derived formula supports deep sleep, deep and restorative sleep. It helps to evoke a sense of calm and negate feelings of stress. You spritz onto bedding or clothing, then breathe in deeply to really feel the mind boosting effects. So I tried this last night. I don't think I've ever had this one. I'm sure I've had something by Bloom and Blossom, but not this. I didn't recognize the smell at all, but it was lovely. It wasn't like a normal pillow spray, which tends to be very sort of heavily lavender, but it was nice. And I had a good night's sleep last night. So I've started using pillow sprays. I don't tend to use them as much in the summer. I think sleep's different for me in the winter, and that's when I, it goes wrong. Do you know what I mean? Last week, I just had lots of five hour sleep nights, which isn't great. And then on, um, was it yesterday i think friday i wanted to get up early but i was sort of ca caught catching up on sleep oh that was it and i had a migraine the one day that was thursday I had a migraine at night so i went to bed at eight o'clock and then didn't get up again till eight o'clock the next morning so i had 12 hours sleep i sort of caught up but not in a very healthy way probably okay i'm going to spritz this on my cardigan because it says fabric and hopefully that'll be all right um it's lovely it's lovely it's really calming but it's different to the other pillow sprays i've had it's it's more light and refreshing and perfumey type smell so yeah i'm very happy with that one right i'm gonna pause a minute just to get a little sip of water because i can feel my horrible throat coming back i'll be back in a sec right next we get a pure sense rise and shine candle refill mini so what you get with this is you get a little jar i haven't actually looked at it yet so that's really pretty to get a little jar like that that's gorgeous so it's a 160 gram jar and then you get a 120 gram pouch which is worth 16 pounds so OK says everyone loves a scented candle and this sustainable set is sure to spark joy for the candle lover in your life. Quite literally. That's me, actually. Um, I love candles. Inside, you'll not only find a luxe glass vessel, but you'll also receive a pouch of citrusy scented wax to create your very own candle, which you can then top up when the 50 hours of burn time is up. So the fresh citrus scent is designed to add bursts of energy, lift your mood and brighten your day. And how you use it, you microwave the pouch or stick it in a pan of hot water until the wax inside has melted, then carefully pour into the glass vessel and leave to set. So I haven't really looked at this yet, but I understand from read, looking at the website because they do sell a fair few of these. That, so it just pulls apart. Oh yes, so you get inside, you get this... Um, little piece of wood and there should be a wick in there as well that you then place when you're pouring it in you place so that's good isn't it and this reseals at the top so presumably you take the wick and the little bit of stick out melt this in a pan or microwave within the pouch and then yeah pour it into the vessel there's the wick there look oh oh look there's the oh it's clever little bottom of the wick goes like that oh i'm a little bit excited i think i might be doing this after the video so yeah the wick goes like that and then i guess you pour your wax in 
lovely little thing loving loving that okay next is by percy and reed now i've got a horrible feeling that's outside because i just used that before the video i'll be back in a sec by the way i didn't mention what the candle smelled like it is very lemony with like a hint of some kind of herb in the background very very nice okay next is by percy and reed it's turn up the volume volumizing no oil oil and that's what it looks like so it's 60 mils a full size worth 20 pounds okay says if you have fine flat or grease prone hair you probably think hair oils aren't for you well think again as this is the lightest one we've ever found it disappears immediately into the hair leaving behind no oily residue just smoother silkier and miraculously more volumized locks magic it nourishes and repairs hair giving smooth sleek silky locks whilst adding volume it instantly rehydrates conditions and creates mirror like shine while volumizing agents build body at the roots pro vitamin b5 helps nourish and strengthen while clever wheat protein protects from heat you apply one to two pumps throughout towel dry towel dried hair then dry and style hair as usual so i have used it today it's really nice to use so i just pump put it into my palms, rubbed it together, and then just pu pulled through my hair. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. So it looks, it is very lightweight. And it's got a beautiful, beautiful Percy and Reed smell, which they always do so well. So yeah, my hair feels fabulous. All I've used today is um, shampoo, conditioner, and this before drying. And you know what? It feels really nice. So, yeah, happy with that one. I love Percy and Reed anyway. Okay, the next item is by Isoclean. It's the Professional Makeup Brush Cleaner. This is a full size. It's worth £8. Now, this is the brush cleaner that I always use. I've got one open somewhere, but I've, I've got no idea where it is, to be honest with you. So, OK says it's important to regularly clean your makeup brushes to avoid spreading germs onto your face. So we just had to include this cleanser in the box. Gets to work in just 60 seconds to remove germs, dust, dirt, makeup and dead skin that accumulate on your makeup tools. It removes the toughest of formulas and pigments with no rinse required. Aloe vera conditions brushes and prolongs the life of the bristles. So I've got a little brush to demonstrate it with here. So this is my eyeshadow brush that I've used today. So it's got some quite dark, deep colours on it. And what you do, you get a bit of kitchen towel. Um, I'll just do it like this so you can see. Spray that onto the brush. And then just brush it out on your kitchen roll. So rather than doing this for 20 se 60 seconds, but that is all it takes. Um, and what happens afterwards as well is the brush is dry, so it's ready to use again straight away, which is brilliant, especially if you've messed up one look and you want to try and do another one, because this is my favourite brush to use to actually apply the colours on my eyes. So that's what it looks like then. So pretty much clean. I didn't even do it for 60 seconds then, but you can see it's done a good job and it's dry. So I'm happy with that. Love it. It's my favourite uh, brush cleaner. So I kind of was drawn to the box because of that, actually. OK, the next item is by Brushworks. It's the double ended eye brush. It's worth £3.99. Now, I haven't used it yet, although I did think about using it and then using that to clean it. But I like to show it you in the box. OK says the perfect tool for using your new eyeshadow palette, which I haven't shown you yet. This dual ended versatile tool works effectively with both powder and liquid products. The fluffy shading brush is the perfect size and shape for sweeping product across the lid. And the hand cut, hand cut angled liner brush delivers precise results to glide eyeliner across the lash line or for adding details to eyeshadow so this is what it looks like i haven't opened it at all so i'm hoping it's not all um sealed up in any way i think it might be I should prepare myself a little bit better here we go Ooh, let's have a little look oh yeah actually that's quite soft that that looked like it's going to be quite sort of um firm but it's quite soft yeah mm. that one i would probably use um to put a bit of detail near the eye line don't 
tend to use those very often anymore. That one, yeah, even, I'll see. I'll see. I'm not sure whether that's a great brush for me, but it is a nice brush. Feels lovely. Okay, the next item is by it's XX Revolution X Express Shadow Palette Limited Edition X Extreme. So it's worth ten pounds. That's the box it comes in. I think that's the right way around. Okay, so it's containing two mattes, two shimmer, and two shimmers in on-trend warm bronze and gold shades. There are no rules with this palette, but the burnt orange colour is great for contouring the eye. The deep brown can be used to define the lash line, and the two shimmery shades will really make the eyes pop when dabbed onto the lids. So I have used another palette today in the OK subscription box, which I filmed just before this one. Um, so I've had to use colours from both of the pa of the palettes now the other one was worth 28 pounds and this one is worth what 10 pounds but do you know what i actually really like they were both just as good as each other and the packaging on this one is much better um so if you see my video i'm not sure which one's going out first i think this one just in case the limited edition does sell out but i will probably put the other one up tomorrow anyway and you'll see the difference because the packaging in this, I don't know if you can see, it's ribbed and lovely. It's beautiful. I like it a lot. And you get a mirror in the top. So this for me is, I like the other palette, but this one is slightly better. So these are the lovely colours that you get in there. I've used three of them. So that one the gold one, I've kind of used, I used two shimmers there from the other one and then went in with the gold around here. And then this one is the one in the middle of my eye. And then the beautiful orange, I always use, well, I often use orange on my eyes anyway. I like that colour. I think it really is a nice colour. Um, and that's sort of like the next to the last colour. And they're obviously all blended in too. That's what I kind of do. But when you sort of move your eye about, you can kind of get the different colours, I think. Um, sorry about the fact that they're not great eyelids, but that's what I've got to work with, unfortunately. So I'll show you what these look like. So this is the one that I used um, not quite in the centre of my eye, but I imagine that as a centre one would be amazing. This is the one I used in the centre of the lid. There, slightly more orangey. Um, because I was going in then with the orange as the next colour, which is a lovely, lovely orange. And then um, I didn't use this this one. This one's a little bit too dark for me. I sometimes go with dark at the edges, um, but I used another one, which was another matte in the other box, which was slightly lighter brown um, and seemed to work a little bit better. But what a fabulous fabulous palette that is i really really like it and it's the orange on it i mean you can see the middle bit and the orange are probably the most obvious shades that you can see on my eye so that's really nice okay next is by laritzi and it's lux powder highlighter in warm rose now i'm going to get this all mucky because i've got shadow on my hands but never mind so OK says the easiest way to elevate your makeup from daytime to dance floor is with a sweep of highlighter across the cheekbones. We love this one for its super blendable texture that leaves skin glowing, not glittery, with a soft pinky champagne shade that flatters all skin tones. Using a small flush, fluffy brush, dust lightly onto the high points of the face, such as the tops of cheekbones and the brow bones. It also works wonders dusted along the collarbone. In addition, it can be used on the eye eyelids as a shimmery shadow. Okay, let's see if I can open this up. Here we go. It's probably got finger marks on. Typical Laritzi packaging. I've had stuff from this brand before. It's nice, nice brand. Um, let's, there's a mirror in this one as well. That's what it looks like. So you can see it is a nice sort of neutrally shimmery one. It's It's does a lovely job actually let me show you on my arm see oh that's nice so i have got this on today on my cheekbone end of my nose um and i did put it just i just put a little bit sort of fluff the brush over the 
just above my um, cupid's bow. So yeah, I like that. That, I think, is going to become my new highlighter because I liked it so much. It went on really lightly and smoothly as well, and it just felt really nice to use. So yeah, happy with that one. Okay, the next item is by Bare Minerals, and it's the Maximist Mascara. It's a travel size worth £14. Okay, says so orange peel cellulose fibres adhere to the lashes to deliver enhanced volume. Microalgae complex promotes thicker and healthier looking at lashes. The uniquely shaped brush has special reservoirs for applying the optimum, optimum amount of product. It's water resistant, smudge proof and flake proof formula offers all day wear. So you position the brush brush with one of the reservoirs touching the base of your eyelashes then push upward to disperse the mascara evenly. Next use the fluffier part of the brush to separate and add additional layers. So this was a little bit confusing to me because I didn't have my glasses on at the time and I think if you've got great eyesight this mascara is going to be fabulous. If you're like me and struggle quite a lot with your eyes then it did it was a bit of a faff to be fair. So this is what it looks like. Now, I don't know whether you can see, but there's a bit that's a little bit flatter. I can't see again. I think it might be that bit there. So that's the bit that you put the mascara on with from what I can tell. And then you fluff it up with the thicker um, bit to separate them out. Now it did do a great job if you like that sort of thick lash look. I kind of prefer a natural, lash you know a very where they sort of look more spaced out i can't really explain it but um this one was one where i would probably use it if i was going out at night time it would be a great one for that i'll come in and show you luckily i have got a few nights out over the christmas period so i probably will use that one because it does, has done a good job in terms of that now i don't know whether you can see if i put my eye sort of lid there um yeah it was a little bit faffy to use though i have to say especially when your eyesight's not great okay i think that's the end of the box so what do you think now for 60 pounds i actually think that's really really good there's a lot of things in here i absolutely love so start off with ren which is a fabulous brand this is a great product if you've not had it before and if you do suffer from sort of dry skin or itchy irritated skin it's a lovely thing to have then you get this marine collagen um, mask, which is lovely to use. Um, yeah, I liked I liked it a lot. It did a nice job on my skin, especially with, I was surprised, and I like this a lot, the Avant one, the way it goes on and spreads. It, it's a really nice product. But I did feel that all of these were sort of nighttime products. It felt more like a Christmas Eve box, you know? And I haven't seen one of those yet, but Christmas Eve box where everything's aimed at the night time, especially when you then get your pillow mist. So all of these things are sort of night time products, lovely products, but aimed towards the night time Christmas Eve. I think it would be a brilliant Christmas Eve box. Then, of course, you get this is the, the star of the show for me because it's fabulous. I love candles anyway. And to have a little job to do to get the candle going is gorgeous. And it's orange as well. It's matching everything, my eyeshadow and my dress and everything. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, then I've got confused now. So then I think, did we move? Oh, we had the makeup brush cleaner, which is my favourite one to use. It's a brilliant product. So happy to have that. Then the makeup brush. Looking at that, do you know what? I just don't. I don't know. It will go with in my collection of brushes, which I have got, and I do like to have lots of different ones. But um, yeah, I'm not sure whether I will actually use that one. Then we had we went on to the makeup, I think, didn't we? So it was the really, really lovely palette. I have to say, I really I, I love that, and the colours are perfect for me. They're colours I use all the time. Brilliant, good price. Then the Laritzi highlighter, which again, it's a beautiful, beautiful um, colour for me. And I liked it. And my highlighter that I always use, which is Illamasqua, it's running low now. So I do think that that's the one that I'm going to go on to possibly. 
probably, possibly, probably, not sure. Um, no, probably. So then we've got the Bare Minerals Maximus I Mascara. Oh, I was going to say eyeliner then. Mascara, which did a very good job. But it was a bit of a faff because just because simply because of my bad eyesight, I guess. So that's, I think that's it, isn't it? One, there's 11 items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. I think that's a decent box. 60 pounds. Yeah. I would be happy to pay that. But then it's because I really like the items that are in there. If you don't like them, I suppose you'd think, oh no, not for me. Um, but yeah, I love them. So happy with the box. It might go on sale for Black Friday. I don't know what's going to happen with it. If it does, definitely look out for it. It's the sort of box as well you could give for a present to someone you really like. Um, because I'd be ha I'd be so happy to get that as a present, honestly. Anyway, I'm not getting that many. There's been loads of limited editions out, haven't there? Loads and loads and loads. And I have got to watch my budget at the moment. So I haven't got as many as I would normally get. However, I am going to try and work out my finances to fiddle around a bit so I can start getting more ones, I think, in the new year. And if anyone does see a Christmas Eve type box, I would like to have a look at that. I don't think I've seen one. I'm sure we used to get those a couple of years ago, um, or I could be imagining it completely. Or anything that you see that you think I would like, especially if it's got makeup in. I'm just all for makeup at the moment. I love skincare. Obviously, I use it all the time, but I have got quite a lot of it. So it's the makeup that I'm really looking out for at the moment and would love some more. Anyway, I'm going to send you loads and loads and loads of love and positive energy and happiness. And I hope you do have a really happy, wonderful weekend and week. And I hope I see you again here soon. Take lots of care.